Online privacy is a huge issue these days, and for good reason. It seems like every app and website out there is trying to use your personal information. One of the internet technologies that helps protect against this threat is the virtual private network, or VPN. I get this question all the time regarding Starlink and VPNs. Does Starlink work with the VPNs? What VPN do you recommend? Do I need any special hardware? You know, those kind of questions. So I thought I'd make this video today to talk about using a VPN with Starlink, what I personally use and recommend, and what other options are out there to protect your online privacy. So the short answer is yes, absolutely. Most VPNs work fine with Starlink, but if you wanna know the details and get into my recommendations, I'll be covering that in a lot more detail in this video. So let's jump right into it. So what is a VPN exactly? Well, to put it in kind of plain words, a VPN just creates a secure tunnel that encrypts your data and sends it from your PC to the VPN server. Your internet traffic is routed through that VPN server before it hits the public internet. This way, the public internet never really sees your data that's unencrypted because it's going to that VPN server first. So it helps shield your own personal data from prying eyes. And since that data that's going from your PC to the VPN server is encrypted, if it is stolen, it's much less likely to be able to be used. So why would you even want to use a VPN? What's the purpose? Well, there are a lot of different reasons why people use VPNs, but mainly it has to do with just privacy and security. People want to know that their data is safe and secure whenever they're browsing the internet or using apps. So VPNs give you more control over your data. You can tell apps and websites what data they can and can't have, so that way they aren't collecting your personal information without your knowledge. You're more in control of your own personal data. Another reason that people use VPNs is to avoid censorship issues. So in many countries, they block certain apps or websites, and that's based on your IP address where your computer is located. If you use a VPN, you can actually kind of spoof your location by using the IP address of the VPN server. So you can get around a lot of this government censorship by using a VPN. And speaking of spoofing your location, another reason that people like to use VPNs is to be able to access geo-locked content on streaming services. For example, if your favorite show on your favorite streaming service is not available in your country for whatever reason, you could connect to a VPN server in a different country where it is available, and that streaming service will think that you're located in the country where the VPN server's at. So you'll have access to that show even though you don't actually live in a place where it's available. And finally, one of the last main reasons that people use VPNs is to shield some of their online activity from their ISP, from their internet service provider. So for example, if you're using file sharing networks like torrents, you can hide some of that information about your activity from your internet service provider. Now, it's important to note that you shouldn't rely on it for complete privacy. You know, I definitely don't condone doing anything illegal via your internet connection. So just be warned of that. VPNs are just great for being in control of your own personal data and making sure that your connection and browsing is private. So does Starlink work with VPNs? Are you gonna be able to use a VPN service if you have Starlink internet service? And the answer is generally yes. There's nothing really that special about Starlink that would cause any kind of an issue with popular VPN services. I personally use a service called Private Internet Access or PIA for short but I've also used ExpressVPN and NordVPN as well in the past. All of these major services work with Starlink. And like I said, it's not really anything different on Starlink's end or any different kind of configuration that you need to be able to use these services. It's mainly just a matter of picking one that's a popular and has all the features that you want and then going with that one. Now those are the consumer VPN side of it. What about like corporate VPNs like Cisco VPN and et cetera that you're using maybe from work from home? Uh, I, I did a lot of research on this. I don't personally use any of those services, but I did look at a lot of the online Starlink communities and I found that 90% of the time people have no issues with using corporate VPNs. And if they do with Starlink, they just contact their IT department and they're able to kind of mess around with some settings and get them going again. So are there any downsides to using a VPN? Well, I would say that anytime you're adding a connection point in your internet traffic, you're gonna see some increased latency and maybe some decreased performance, but that really all just depends on the specific VPN service that you're using and the load on the server that you're connecting to at the time. Generally, I found no noticeable in, uh, decrease in performance or increase in latency or anything like that. I often use private internet access VPN for gaming actually, and it was the latency and everything was just fine. So it just, your mileage may vary, it just depends on 
which VPN you're using and which server you're connecting to, even the time of the day. So I'd mentioned private internet access as the VPN service that I use and that I recommend. I'm gonna throw a link in the description below with a great offer for Starling Cardware subscribers if you're interested in signing up for that service. If you do the two year deal, it's like just a couple bucks a month. It's really a pretty great deal. Um, like I said, I've also used ExpressVPN and NordVPN. I think any of the major VPN players are gonna be just fine. So how do you use a VPN? Well, the most common way and the way that I do it personally is by loading up the VPN service providers apps on all my devices. So for example, I have a app for my iPhone. I have the app uh, loaded on my MacBook behind me. So anytime I wanna browse with a VPN, I just use the software, connect to a VPN server, and I'm good to go. They usually have apps for almost any device you may have, but if you're interested in connecting devices through a VPN that don't have apps, you can use something called a VPN router. So with a third-party router that supports a VPN configuration, you can load up your VPN details in the configuration, and then your whole home network will be protected. So any device that connects to the internet through that VPN router will be protected by the VPN. Now, unfortunately, the Starlink router does not have this functionality, so you won't be able to use a Starlink router with a VPN, you'll have to use a third party. And I'll throw a link in the description below for one such router that is pretty affordable and that does have VPN functionality. So if you have any questions about using a VPN with Starlink, any questions about the VPN routers or the VPN services that I recommended, let me know in the comments below. We can talk about it. I can make a follow-up video if I need to. And that was all really for what I want to talk about today. So we'll see you in the next video.